In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add on call to your schedule in Excel. So for the schedule I was creating this week, they have uh, three shifts, morning, afternoon, and nights. Um, the two morning and afternoons need two to three people. And the one shift needs, the night shift needs one, but there always has to be somebody from the afternoon on call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my schedule. So I'm going and I'm going to go schedule and I'm going to run. And here you have the nights and you see that we have one on nights and then two, two to three on afternoons and and evenings. Now you would like them to be for the people in the afternoons to get it broken up pretty evenly so that they're not always on call so that they're only on call possibly every second night instead of every night so now what i've done is i've written um, a script so that adds on call to the to the list here and you notice we have on call we have zero on the bottom here so now i'm going to go to my macros i'm going to go to the on call and i'm going to run And now what it's done is it's put every time it finds a, an afternoon, it puts it chooses the first one and says on call. And you notice that my afternoons have gone from three to one here. But if you add the two of them together, you still have three people. Now he's on call and then he was on call yesterday. So we can't be on call again today. Uh, so they're on call the second day and then it go. It keeps going so that if you can't be on call two nights in a row. And it breaks up the schedule for all the on calls. So let me show you how I did this. So here's the code that I used. It's called sub on call and I um, declared rows and columns as long and works WS is a worksheet. Now um, I start on column two and row four. And it's going for two to 46 because we're doing a six week period here and from rows um, four to 13. Now I select the first cell and I say if the active cell is an A, then it, if, as long as the one to the left of it is not A.OC, then um, change the active cell to AOC and then go move on, which is further down here. Now, if it is, if it's not, uh, if if it is AOC on the next one, then it just moves on to the next one. And so that way we have, if you look at the schedule, we have we don't have two days in a row of on call, and it basically goes through um, all the people that are on the list here to make sure that they all get an equal equal uh, amount of on call. So I will of course include the. Um, the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.